For the electronics on the x carve I want to do a couple improvements. For starters, I want to use some heat shrink over the end of the cable, just like this, to cover up this jagged edge. And not only does that cover it up and protect it, but it also acts as a strain relief. I'm not a huge fan of these terminal strips. I've never really liked these unless I'm using actual terminals on the ends of the wires. So I've decided to replace those with four pin Molex connectors. And these will get installed on the ends of all the cables and also the mating connector on the stepper motors themselves. For my pin out, I'm going to use the same color codes that Inventables gives you, but the difference is, is that now instead of it being in a straight line, it will be in a four pin configuration like this. So what I've decided to do was just count from left to right, red, blue, green, black, and of course the blue will mate to the white of the cable. On these connectors, there's a square side and there's a rounded corner side. It's got a chamfered corner with a notch. That is the plug. That's the plug side. So we need to make sure to orient it this way so that the notch is down and that we're doing the wiring from the back side of the connector. So red, blue, green, black. Insert the wires from the back side of the connector in that, in that configuration. Having these die crimpers are the best way to crimp these pins properly. Now using our plug diagram, we'll use that to make sure that all of the connections get plugged in correctly. Last thing you do is heat this heat shrink. One down. The mating Molex connector will get connected to the stepper wire harness. For the stepper motor harnesses, I need to put I need to put the mating connector on the harness, but I need to also make sure that I maintain the wire color code through the connectors. For example, this green wire is passing through this pin, and I want to make sure that this green wire is also connected to that same pin on the opposite side. I've placed a mark here on my bench to use to determine how long I want these harnesses. For the limit switches, the only improvement I want to make is putting some smaller heat shrink over the wires after I make the solder connections to the terminals. This again will protect the connection and give it strain relief. Soldering to these switches is fairly simple. Best thing to do is to strip these and then pre-tin the wires and then pre-tin the contacts.
for the limit switches, Inventables sends you a right angle header that is meant to be soldered into the Gerbil G Shield right here. And then you have a mating connector and pins to make those connections. I happen to keep these in stock in my shop. This is a 2.5 millimeter or 0.1 inch spaced terminal header will actually fit in that space that that right angle header is meant for. So I'm going to solder one of these in place and that will allow me to remove and take the wires off anytime I need to with just a simple flathead screwdriver. Here we go.